Okay, so <clears throat> the thing with um, Hawkins talks about this, Dr. David R. Hawkins, I'm going to paraphrase my interpretation of it, of um, if there's any, if you have a fear in life, um, you just ask, uh, 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 you just run the loop until you get to the end. So <clears throat> let's say, um, let's say I'm working, I'm in a job, <clears throat> and I'm afraid my boss is going to fire me. Yeah. So actually I had this, you know, I did actually have this. And I remember being in, in working in the stock market and, uh, and uh, <clears throat> getting kidney failure and then having to go on disciplinary as the company tried to fire me. And uh, the thing was like, oh, if I get fired, so I can remember it. If I get fired and I've got kidney failure, I'll never get another job again. So the what next? So my thing was in, the, in, the, in my job, I, I must keep this job at all costs because if I get fired with kidney failure, I will never ever get another job in the stock market ever again. So, and then and if I never get another job, I never, I'll never work again. And uh, no one will take, give me another job again. So I'll be, I'll be, and then I'll, I won't have any money. And then, uh, so then what next? So if I don't have any money and you never get another job, then um, eventually, uh, you're just going to get you're going to get ill, and you won't have enough money to look for a solution. And then what? Ne what's the next thing? And then I'll die horribly. So you just just take from what? So you just each outcome. So what's the next horrible thing that will happen after you lose your job? Then I'll never get another job. So what next? And then and, and if I never ne get another job, I'll never earn any more money. Okay. And then what next? And then I'll die horribly. You see, so you just keep doing it, and each la each layer of the what next. Usually, you end up with something like death, or, or no, no one will yeah. ever speak to you, and you'll be alone and you'll die. Well, or he you'll says that, doesn't he? Yeah. He actually says, ultimately, you'll see that most of your fears, because he he talks about, it, he calls it, and then what? And then what? That's and then right. what? And then what? Yeah. And then what? Yeah. Like almost like you're provoking yourself to yeah. what, what what's next, yes. as you said. Yeah. So and then what? And he says ultimately, it all leads to a fear of death. That's right. Then it will be. Yeah, then it will end in death. True. Even yeah. loneliness, even the loss yeah. of a job, because yeah. he uses exam example of a loss of a job. Yeah. And then what? And then what? And then what? But yeah. ultimately, you'll end up there anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you can sit with those feelings. Oh. So when you when you then get to the the work, all those you can do either layers or you get to the worst one. So you just visualize you're alone on the street. Mm -hmm. And then as you're sitting with those feelings, what will happen as you're processing the fear through? your level of consciousness will increase. And as your level of consciousness increase, you'll have a shift in perception of the meaning of that. So basically, when you're, not, when you're in fear, when you're in fear, like I've lost my job, but I'm dying on the street yeah. alone with no friends, when you're in fear, that seems quite horrific, yeah. that outcome. But as you process the fear out, your level of consciousness increases, and you start to get different thoughts. Like, it'll be fun, I won't have any more bills. I'll, be, you know, I'll just be able to just... Uh, live a life of freedom and then eventually it'll be it becomes a thing that don't, won't exist for you it's like you've transcended it so that's the thing so you can transcend all your fears by doing the and then what and my experience is if you transcend the fear and you let and and you've transcended that outcome as being a horrible thing what usually happens is that um, everything goes fine Everything goes fine because, you know, this is my experience and it's what's said in all the spiritual books. It's being connected. It's your level of consciousness which looks after you. It's not, you know, and fear and being in your thinking or a separated state. That's what leads to all those problems actually materializing. So once you go in the, into the infinite states, that state of being in the infinite is that which looks after You know, those, um, if, you look at, if you look at those people who've been who've become enlightened teachers, and if you look at their lives, I mean, Hawkins was a great example. So he was out in the middle of the desert in a shack, and he would just sort of, he would just leave the shack, and he would hardly have any food, and like, people would offer him some food. You know, at the right time, everything was offered when it was needed. He even had more mystical things, which would probably blow some people's minds, but uh, people who do A Course in Miracles, it won't blow their minds. But uh, I remember once, and this is the mystical, and when you go into really deep spiritual work, you get the in impossible happening. 
So I remember once he needed something like uh, he's got one of his one of his things. He, he needed something like a spanner. He needed something like a spanner to, to fix something. I think it was something like this. And he walked out, and there was just this, a brand new spanner on the driveway from nowhere. You know, so it's like. You know, that's like the impossible materializing out of, out of nothing. So even those, those kind of, uh, in, what would be to someone in the ego would seem like a total impossibility mm. happen. So, so it's being in the, the infinite provides when you're an infinite. And when you're in doubt and limitation that you need your ego to survive, you need fear. I mean, the ego is like fear is good for you and thinking is good for you. And as you get into the more mystical states, the lack of a negative feeling, fear, shame, guilt, and being in the infinite presence, those are the highest states of grace and flow. And the more you go into your thinking, um, it's still good, but as you go more into thinking and more into fear, you'll find life will become more unmanageable and more difficulties will start to arise. So you realize the more you let go, it's that state of letting go and the absence of negative emotions, the absence of being in your, in your, identified with your thoughts trying to run the show. That is actually the source of life. The source of life is the infinite, not the limited. So with each level, you'll find more synchronicities and, and more grace. And also, if you want to let go of physical illnesses, uh, which was the main thing for me, which is why I was attracted to Hawkins, you've got to let, completely let go of your belief and resolve all the repressed feelings and emotions and energies uh, around those. And then my experience is when they completely disappear from your mind, the illness disappears as well. So, but if you believe it to some extent, you know, I don't think, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not sure that they would have disappeared uh, in that way.